Okay, this is an old Cybernet radio. It's a Midland 6001 Cybernet PTBM 059COX multi mode type with a converted final trans here. This is an IRF 520. Before it was an uh, 2SC 1969. Here we have a power meter. This is a multimeter, shows me the current. The second multimeter shows me the gate voltage. Okay, and this is the soldering side of the Cybernet radio. Um, this here is the pot meter to adjust the gate voltage. This here is the companion part a biasing network for the IRF 520 MOSFET transistor. And we will look here power output and current in function of increase or decrease of the gate voltage here. Yes, and this here is the IRF 520N and the red one is an homemade companion part and this here is also a homemade companion part plus is the gate here okay and now we are starting the test I switch on the transceiver okay the start current conjunction is about 0 0.33 ampere and the gate voltage is about 32 millivolts. Okay, I will send now on FM. Okay, the gate voltage is about 4.3 volts. This is written in the modification instruction and the power is about 4 watts, a little bit more than 4 watts here. Okay, I will decrease the gate voltage to 4 volts and you can see power and current doesn't increase. It's the same power, the same current. Now I will go to 3.8 volt gate voltage. Okay, approximately. And the power is also more than 4 volts and 2 amperes is the current here. I think that was much better when I increase from 3.8 volts to 4.3 volts here. Okay, a little bit back here on 4.3 volts here. 4.3 volts, this voltage is written in the modifications instruction. Okay, the gate voltage is about 4. 0.3 volts written in the instruction sheet and now we can see we have a problem IRF520 electrical characteristics maximum 4 volts minimum 2 volts maximum 4 volts gate source threshold voltage but it's uh, not so a problem. 
you have a second chart absolute maximum ratings and the maximum gate to source voltage varies about plus minus 20 percent 10 percent is about 0 0.4 volts and 20 percent is about 0 0.8 volts the maximum is also 4.8 volts and 4.3 volts is ok 4.3 volts is this voltage which gives me the best modulation on SSP that's a fact ok we will make the test on SSP start transceiver I will send without modulation it's about uh, 1 amps 1 ampere ok audio audio about 15 watts here about 15 watts on SSP audio audio and the current is about 3 amps audio ok and now I will make test on AM that key that key about 4 watts ok about 4 watts and our modulation audio audio swinging up from about 4 to 12 watts audio this is only possible with this IRF 520 audio audio on AM ok ok this is an Albrecht AE485S it's a 10 meter radio and uh, here we can see this uh, transceiver is using also MOSFET trends in the final stage and the type is the ERF2030 this is a, a similar type to the IRF520 and now I will look the gate voltage here on this transceiver okay and we will look the gate voltage here on this Albrecht AE485S now we will send here and the gate voltage is about 3.95 volts here this is the maximum this is the maximum uh, okay I'm back here this is a MAST 5000 DX uh, it's similar to the Anytone 5555 and uh, other similar radios here, clones and this transceiver here includes also two MOSFETs uh, in the final and this is the original IRF520 here we can see IRF520 two pieces and now I will look the gate voltage on TX mode also here on the MOSFETs on this transceiver here. Okay, I'm back here. You can see here connect to the to the gate here and the voltmeter and the microphone and now I will send here 
and look on the voltmeter. One, two, three, four, tack. 4.2526 volt. 4.26 volts on IRF 520 here and the Anytone 5555 or similar radios. I think um, it's also good for my project uh, for Cybernet radios upgrade with MOSFETs. Huh? Thank you. That's all. Bye bye.